So if you want to program hooks, smart contracts for the XRP ledger, uh, you can do so in basically any language. Hooks are uh, WebAssembly binaries, and WebAssembly is uh, can be you can compile to WebAssembly from almost any programming language. Now we chose uh, to be the first language for Hooks development to be C which is a very efficient language. It's already a compiled language. So we, we take the C code, we compile that to WebAssembly, and then we allow the WebAssembly to be installed on the XRP ledger and run as a smart contract. Uh, but a lot of programming languages can compile to WebAssembly. It became the industry standard in only a couple of years for very fast, very efficient, very lightweight, uh, code execution, sandboxed code execution, which is what you want. You want it to be very fast. You want it to be very small. You want to be able to run it in, in microseconds and uh, you want it to be sandboxed because none of what you do in your smart contract can escape to the rest of the ledger, to the hosts the code is running on. And you still want to be able to handle hundreds of transactions per seconds, even if they all come with their own custom logic. So WebAssembly was the right choice and there are a lot of big parties around the world investing a lot of time and energy in WebAssembly development because it, it seems to become, it became the industry standard also for, for cloud and edge computing. Uh, so I think that's the right choice to make today if, if you're doing anything with smart contracts. Also because uh, it doesn't even matter in what language people program. I mean, you still have to build the, tool, the tools, the toolkit around it but anyone can do that and basically map their own local programming language to operations for hooks on the XRP ledger. Uh, so it's C today. We're working on WebAssembly currently uh, to allow a JavaScript, TypeScript-like syntax to be turned into hooks, which is what 90% of the developers work with anyway. It's a great language to add uh, support for. But if, if Go or Rust or uh, uh, any language uh, can be mapped to hooks. So it's going to be very interesting to see what people build. And I, uh, I would very much like to see over time when, uh, when, when the test cases are there, when the code audits have been there, when we have a working example with assembly script. So that's months or even years down the road. But I would very much like to see uh, some grants in the future for developers to build their own hooks layers uh, for other programming languages.